Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to do a tag video that I actually saw on Holly's channel. I'll link it below. Lovely Day with Holly is her channel. And I thought this would be a really fun tag to do, trying to figure out different ideas for videos. So go ahead and get into it. So the first question, the first question is, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about this. I'll show y'all some different things, but I thought this would be kind of fun where I could kind of show some of the other interests I have as well, which I've kind of talked a little bit about it already. Um, so like, you know, I love Bible journaling and other things like that, but I have way too many sticker books and like planner supplies, stationery, pens, papers, notebooks. It's crazy. So yeah, stickers. I mean, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. This is only like 30% of my collection, maybe not even. I have so many sticker books. I mean, you've got the Happy Planner is most of this, and some of them are like Kell of a Plan. I bought some of her stuff before as well. Just like crazy. I went like in that planner phase that some people may go through where they just get all the stationery and the supplies and the pens and the calligraphy and all the fun stuff. And then before you know it, you have way too many. Kind of like books. You know, you end up with like so many and then you unhaul stuff. But with stickers, it's like, I just keep them and I have to hardly use them. So I need to try. I've done a lot better this year about using my supplies, but sticker books. And like, I don't even know. Like this, these are used up pretty good, but like, you get into these Happy Planner books. I mean, I've got like probably five stacks like this. You know, it's just something about, like I would get them on clearance for $5, you know. Um, and they just like add up at Hobby Lobby, whatever. So, they're always fun. And, and I like to, I use them in my bullet journal and different things like that. So, that was cool. And then like the planner words and stuff from Kell the Plan. Got too many of them. Anyway, um... And then I went through that like Erin Condren phase, which I still get like the surprise box from Erin Condren. I think I've got it coming tomorrow, but, um, or the next day or something, but I still get that quarterly surprise box from them. And so I'll just like re-gift the stuff sometimes, but I actually really like Erin Condren's paper quality and the different type of notebooks that they have and their planners, but they're really expensive. So a lot of times I just like this year, I'm not using Erin Condren for a planner. I'm just using a bullet journal because I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself to do a planner. But anyway, so like, you know, I've got a lot of other like cool notebooks. If you're not familiar with Erin Condren, a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, their notebooks are really fun. You know, they've got like these different covers and they're all like interchangeable. And I've not used these, but I, I will use some of the ones that I have used. Like this one I've tabbed up here where I've got like, like this one's got like different Bible notes. And you can, like tab and it's got like all these really great places for like stickers and it doesn't bleed through so i like those i also used like the happy planner in the past like these the, the discs you know this is a planner i used at one time so um and then i used like a notebook so yeah a lot of good stuff there right now i am using a planner it's a lot long answer to a short question but anyway so <laughs> I am using the Amanda Rachel Lee Doodle Planner, I guess you want to call it. It's kind of like a bullet journal style, but I went through and actually used a lot of my stickers to fill this whole thing up because I just felt like I need to use them. So, you know, like it's a cute little bullet journal style. I really like it. So, um, and if I don't use it one week, I don't feel bad about it because I can just like use the decoration or whatever and put some notes, but it's not like the end of the world. And then, like, I'll use, like, these little notebook bullet journal styles to, like, this was, like, my reading journal and stuff. This was, like, my bullet journal stuff for, like, reading goals. I already talked about in my reading goals videos. So, I also have, like, way too many, like, Bible supplies, I guess you'd say. Also, I've got, like, these notebooks here. I don't know. It's just, like, everywhere. And that's one thing. It's, like, decluttering those kind of things is really hard like i've already gifted a lot of this stuff to people before because i'm like i'm getting this right get rid of it like to one of my best friends i gave her a bunch of my stuff one time like a whole box full of stuff that i thought she would enjoy but for me it's like i just have so many things still like i, I just need to try to use them and like these little things are cool because like you could they have these little notebooks where i like put pictures and stuff in 
So like I do like craft project where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put like these little pictures you can print out and put in there. I also have like a praise book where I do see supplies in the praise book and there's like different pages for different praises to God and everything like that, like journal entries and stuff like that. So yeah, I just like number one answer to that question. <laughs> Long answer, short question. So yeah, I won't go on and on about that, but um, next question. <laughs> next question, number two, what is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? Well, I guess I kinda already talked a lot about this. Like, I do a lot of like the crafty stuff. So I do like a lot of the crafty stuff. Like in this praise book, you'll see I have like different entries and whatnot, where like I have like the different um, lettering and things like that, so. Um, one of my best friends. I've got this. You know, we met. I made like a godly friendship, strong friendship page, um, and I have like I had like all these cardstock pieces, so I put them in here as well. So just different things. Um, you know, I do like prayers, and this is a long time ago, 2017, but like just different aspects in this. I um, love these beloved society girls from like Illustrated Faith. So that's one of my big hobbies. I love just to like journal and lettering and um trying out watercolors i've got and like coloring pencils and stuff like um i've also got like a lot of pens and stuff like i love trying out different materials and like arteza 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 whatever these are really good um color pencils so i try i don't get to do a lot of coloring like i want to have coloring books and stuff but i don't get to do that a whole lot anymore but i really enjoy that so yeah, journaling, Bible journaling, Bible studies, um, lettering, color pens, coloring, and just any kind of doodling and all that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Um, number three, what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? I don't really have a nightstand, to be honest. So I'm gonna skip this. Like I've got like this, my room, I've got like my desk, my bed, and then this big old dresser right next to it. So I used to have a nightstand, but where I got this big old dresser thing, I don't have space but um what's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books we don't really have a lot of bookshops around here but i do like um like books a million is the the bookstore here we don't have a barnes and noble we have books a million i end up getting like bookmarks sometimes uh, stationary items gifts for christmas for like people at christmas time they have like like mugs and just other things like that so bookish things of course and like they even have puzzles and kids toys that I've gotten there for my little boy so just different things like that what's something that you buy at a bookstore well, I already said that what's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books I mean ooh, I know this is dusty as I'll get out but I have this on my desk and it's so dusty my husband got me this for like our anniversary one year, I think. It's like, like kind of like that Beauty and the Beast rose. I don't even know if it turns on anymore. Oh, it does. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so this was something kind of fun that I got. It's just like this pretty rose in here with like the little fairy lights. So, I love this. It's, it, like I said, it's dusty. It needs to be kind of cleaned up. But, yeah, this is um, the only thing I can really think of that was something kind of fun that wasn't a gift like a book for books or anything so right on the spot that's what i could think of so i'm just gonna sit that right there we're just gonna sit it right there um what's a youtube channel that you watch that's not related to books oh i've got so many um i might have to like pull up my ipad for this so i watch a lot of like the ambience youtube channels um like ASMR rooms. It's got some of like the Harry Potter, like the ambient style. I'll just have to show you. Hold on. Like this was one I had. So like that, like this is one I had and it had Hobbit Christmas fireplace. This speaks to me. <laughs> like I would just like put those on my TV at Christmas time and just sit there and like just embrace that ambiance, ambience, whatever. It's <laughs> I can't say words anyway um or like these would be cute like the kind of like the morning of the shire ASMR ambiance and then I really like these instrumental worship music videos like prophetic worship 
I like this. Really like that. I listen to those. Just like to have that sound in my ears at all times, pretty much while I'm I'm doing prayer or like Bible study. Um, but like other than books, I love Coffee and Bible Time. I've talked about them before. Coffee Girls. They have a vlog channel. I'll look like these. But these that I talk about below. Recipe people. So like Frugal Fit Mom. I really like her channel. So where she's got like freezer meals and stuff. Oh, I love these like. Like these accounts where they'll be like they're living in a cottage or something. Oh, there's some girl I follow like that. And they'll just do like a day in my life at the cottage or on the farm. Love those. Like, I'm trying to find that. Cottage Fairy. The Cottage Fairy. That one's a really cute account. It's got like, just the whole vibe of that account's really cute. The Bible Project. That's another account. I follow some of like this lady, um, my son has autism, so he's three, he's a little over three years old and he was diagnosed last year. So we've been doing like speech therapy and preschool and all kinds of stuff like that. So I have several accounts that I will follow, um, to help me like with speech stuff. Like this girl, this lady, um, Laura Mize, M-I-Z-E, teach me to talk. Really like her. She's got like different videos and stuff to try to help t with speech therapy and stuff. And then, like, I'll look up just other videos about, like, autism and how to help your child and things like that. So, he's doing really well. So, we're happy about that. And then, like, Amanda Rachel Lee, Bullet Journaling. I really like her. She's, like, 2 million followers. It's crazy. But I remember I followed her when she didn't even have a million, you know. And then now she's got, like, 2 million. She's doing, like, partnerships with these big companies. It's so cool. So, props to her. But I love her, how artsy and doodly she is with stuff. So, um... But yeah, I don't know. That's Southern Couture. I really like that account too because she'll do like uploads with like bullet journaling or bullet journaling, Bible journaling, um, and just different process videos of like the things she uses in her Bible and like other day spring products as well. So I like her. I like that below. Heather Kale. She does like um, happy planner videos. So I haven't watched her in quite a while, but. I do like her account where she'll do like different spreads and things. I don't have the happy planner anymore, so I don't watch those videos. But like if she's doing other general videos, I will um, watch some of those too. I used to watch a lot of those study accounts. Like Study T was one and she's not uploaded in like a year. But like they would do like these different productivity videos and things like that. So I thought those were always fun to watch. But yeah, like the ASMR rooms, those were so much fun. I like they'll have like an hour long video two hours like just i'll link that one below specifically um because i like a lot of those and it's like just that digital artwork with like different music from like what's that lord of the rings the other other middle earth stuff or like harry potter and all that so um i also really like ariel Bassett. she's like bought this really old house and she'll like renovate it and do different things and i just love watching those videos those are fun so she does book videos too but, um, so it was what she was primarily known for was book videos. But I actually really like where she's renovating her old house. Like, 18, I don't know if it's like 1800s or something crazy. It's like a really old house. And I like what she's doing with it. So, I'll have to link her below too if you're not seeing her. So, um, I feel like I talked a lot about other channels. I obviously watch a lot of YouTube. I've got that YouTube premium where you don't have to, like, watch commercials. That's how much we watch it. Me and my husband, we both. He'll watch, like, a lot of gaming stuff and whatnot, um. But uh, like I said, that, that's love me some YouTube. So, so number seven was just to tag five booktubers you want to learn more about. Um, I don't know who's done this tag, so I'm really not going to tag anybody, I guess. If you want to do this tag, you're watching it, please do so and let me know in the comments if you do this video. I'd love to watch it. Um, sorry if I kind of rambled, but <laughs> I just felt like this would be kind of fun to kind of like tell you all a little bit more about me and my other interests other than books. So, um, but yeah, uh, if you all do this tag, let me know in the comments. Do you like any of the hobbies that I have? Like, do you like to do journaling? What's your favorite uh, different type of things to do other than reading books? I'd love to know that in the comments below as well. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.